What's up everyone? I'm Lord Ethan, your Overwatch color caster for TEC High School Series, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top moments of Week 3. Starting at number 5 here, we get a really good example of exactly why Central Cambria, the current reigning champs from the Fall 2023 season, are so terrifying. You may think we got baited with that uh, play of the game High Life or Hello There, who has some really creative use of the Sombra Translocator utility to put themselves high up into the air and then drop back down into a marvelously casted virus. But the fact is that Hello There is not the only one you want to be watching out for. Like I said, with the double feature uh, play the game highlight here for Fork uh, is another one of those names to watch out for. A single round and we are going to see play of the game. <laughs> oh, we got strict there, not from the Doomfist, but instead from Hello there. And every time, every time that play of the game highlight gets me, I swear. I was like, yeah, it, it, it has to be Fork. Like, look at the game that they've been Our next clip is going to come from the matchup between Portage area and Greater Johnstown. You'll actually see that Dockside there for Portage had gone critically low, and Castle Wolf is here with the rally. Both supports doing exactly what they need to do, but the real feature of the clip, IU, it's Neo here with the triple kill Dragon Blade, while the rest of the team did exactly what they needed to do to create the space for that ultimate to come out. Beautiful stuff from the DPS player and the rest of the squad for Portage area. Somehow, missing Jupiter stays alive. The pocket from the Mercy and the Brig in the area will do enough. The Instant Crunch doesn't get too much out of their ultimate, but Ayo, it's Neo does. Neo again with a triple kill coming in, slicing and dicing, putting in the good work here as they find one more for the Quadra. The tank will fall. Our middle of the pack clip, uh, we have a uh, shot from Ferndale versus Salisbury Elk. And uh, PSA to all of our other TEC teams, don't sleep on Ferndale. And especially not Jake the Snake, finding the opening pick there onto Blockhead and looking for more blood to spill here in a fight that wins Ferndale the series with uh, Pepper picking up a little bit of kill participation as well. You'll love to see it from the support players for Ferndale. No space the rest of the squad pushes uh, in back behind them here. Yeah, it might be more than enough. They're already eight meters in. Jake the Snake is able to get one of those kills. Can the Kiriko oh, wow. do much more? It's Turn around. easy playing, dude. Nobody is looking around, and the hog is gonna go down. Even the other Kiriko has nowhere to go, and it's just like that. What? For our number two clip of the week, we have a really great example of how nuanced and creative you can get in Overwatch from the Boyertown v. West Branch matchup. Losing the battle, but winning the war. NY Trickster is going to, as Echo, enter duplicate form. They can copy any character, and they copy the D.Va, but they aren't able to use the self-destruct with the ultimate generation. What they can do is get a double kill with the what we call the Goomba Stomp in Overwatch. D.Va Remake just one-shotting those characters and helping to uh, win the mental game for West Branch. You'll be able to get at least the one, but you still have four standing here for West Branch. Not sure if they're gonna be able to keep things going. Life gripped on to the point here is Toby, but at least for now, one last push for Boyertown. Well, they dropped the B, Trickster. Definitely looking for a rematch kill right there, and they will find the two D-Mac kills on that D.Va rematch. Number one clip was a pretty easy one. It features our very own TEC Seth that gives a little bit of attention towards Westmont Hilltop, and it's a good old-fashioned D.Va self-destruct, and uh, it's a really important one, too. You'll see the immortality field was up, the shield from Sigma was up, and this is just team-wide kill participation, the Yari Sunstrike, and as well, but it's because the Echo destroyed that immortality field that you're able to see as many kills roll in for that self-destruct. Great cast from Monkey611 from Westmont. For Westmont, dominant fashion as well, may I add, as so, I mean, Westmont, again, showing why they're maybe one of the better teams, if not one of the best teams in Division 2, and excited to see them now rise up in the leaderboards here 
on the Tech High School Series Division II Overwatch standings. And you see the play of the game there from Monkey all out. This has been this week's top five plays from TEC High School Overwatch series. For you guys, I've been Lord Ethan, your Overwatch color caster. And if you feel like you're missing out on some of the talent, you are. Join us on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. EST for all of the high school Overwatch action. And make sure that you're checking this card here to make sure that you're not missing any of the other titles that we cast as well, Rocket League and Valorant, as well as Middle School Rocket League on Thursdays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.